Hi, welcome to a video going to be about Sardi icons and a tool that we've learned that exists. A new mix folders Git is an application we can install on uh, many Linux distributions, but specifically on Arco Linux. And we're going to show you the Sardi modularity. So it's actually a video for ericdubois.be website. The thing is, we have this Trizen um, Numix folders git. That's an application and it gives us the ability to install an application that chooses from six or seven styles, I believe. Let me open a article here and move it over here. Kill all the open tabs, close other tabs. Yep. So that's cleaner. And it's uh, football time this evening. But, soccer. But, 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 but. So we go to the articlinks.com and we see a way to, easy way to change the new mix folder. So it's, we're going to do this. And it is these styles that we're can choose from and you can choose change the colors and all that so that's explained here so we are just installing it and going ahead with it that being said we have now a desktop so we have numix folders nice icon for it so this is the application we need to be root to be able to change things and i'd like for instance style 5 with the color blue this is my choice and then it hit me what if I combined these folders with the Sardi Mono icons and it's actually quite easy um, the only thing is uh, well you have to know some of uh, the elements how, how icon themes are built up that's it basically but applying this can be done straight straight now um, uh, immediately but uh, you need to have, of course, Numix installed. So I don't know if this is Silo Pacman. Pacman minus S. It's either from Arch or from AUR. So that's what I'm wondering. So Numix GTK theme icons. Well, easiest way is just to try isn't it Numix icons because it tell you it tells you where it comes from. It comes from AUR. Okay. So standard, we have everything installed and we can just go ahead with our, let's do this. Okay, there's more and lots of possibilities to check out and to install. So new mix icons must be there basically, but then you should know that they will be overwritten with this code. So an SVG can be changed with codes, color codes, and you can change, of course, these color codes and make it custom and so on. But um, when we apply, well, Numix folders applying, you see here this message up here. It takes a while. It means it has to go through, let's say, 100 by 100, around 800 icons. No, it's too much. 500 uh, icons. Yes, it needs to change that. So. When this is gone, we can experiment and we have now a new theme, share icons. And in the Numix folder, he changed a lot of stuff. He's changed these colors, you see? So the blue colors, everything has been changed to a folder blue. Now to select it, we need to go in here, appearance, icons, and it's just the new mix folder you need to select. So you see already the blue icon up here. There are some things missing. That's because we didn't take new mix circle light or circle, which is better file manager so it's all in this kind of icon the style and also the color 
which goes magnificently, magnificently with the wallpaper that just popped up. Now, this is just one thing. So we need the new mix. Well, we don't want the new mix circle icons and we want to set in mono icons. So now it's like a locomotive, like a train. You put your wagons behind another thing. And how do we do that? Okay, so can we go back to user share and then icons new mix control c i'm gonna copy everything over to the dot icons it's empty that's good so we have now all these colored icons the ones we're looking at here these blue guys are in this folder here now what i'm gonna do is first off maybe rename it I'm gonna rename it to new mix. Well, actually, sadly, ah, let's take new mix. New mix folders. It's our project called new mix folders. Okay. Any name is good as long as it's a unique name in your system. And don't forget to delete the icon theme cache and don't forget to rename it to new mix folders here as well. And then, since it's open already, I my intention is to put the wagon behind this locomotive. This is my locomotive. I'm telling him, well, I'm going to select the folder. Well, I'm going to select Numix folders later on. It will only include the folders. And all the rest of the icons come from Sardimono. And if you can't find the icon for an application, then you go to GNOME, then you go to Highcore. I could say, for instance, then you go to Sadi. But Sadi Mono is all gray and Sadi is all red and all kind of colors. So it will stick out anyway, but doesn't matter. So hopefully th there are no applications that do not exist. Probably there will always be new applications, right? But the Sadi Mono is the one that is going to provide all the icons that do not exist in this folder we're working on here right now. So this is the folder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna delete everything but places. Let's have a look. Places contains kind of blue folders. This is actually too small to take a good look at it. So I'm gonna show you in another folder. So. I only want to keep places like so. Well, I'm pressing Control A if you wondered, and then on Control, pressing Control and mouse click, delete. 48 Control A, clicking on Control, delete. All links that do not exist anymore. And then this one. So I'm left with only places. So the Umix folders, if I select it, Umix folders, then it will only contain folders. And the rest are the icons are coming from Sardi Mono first, and then Sardi. Uh, Sadly, so I've made a mistake. And why? Because, let's have a look. Did I not save it? I forgot to save it. Let's do that again. It's already okay, but it's faster when you just switch up, up like this. And then, so now we have this kind of look. I have the sadly mono icons for all the rest here. But when we go to our file manager, it's going to look like this. You see? So there are possibilities, endless possibilities to uh, change your folders with this little script. And well, it's an uh, application or script, I don't know what it is. New mix folders. Change this thing around, choose it, and you can. This will change, of course, not uh, my 
created one in the dot icons, but it will create the user share icons new mix and change that one. But you can change a lot of things, styles in here that are quite awesome. So you take your style, you take your color, you run it, you apply it. And if you have then your the wish or the what if in your mind, can I combine these folders with some other icon theme, then this is how to do it. All right. Cheers.